Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network. Speaking before the Rotary Club of Guam, Dr. Walter, now an associate professor of public administration at UOG, said his confidence lies in the fact that Micronesia's size and location are too vital to U.S. strategic interests. We are as huge as the continent of the United States. The United States do not want to repeat what happened during World War II. So we made a pledge that no third party will be in this area without U.S. consent. And we sign into it that in case of any conflict, United States interests will always prevail. But that loyalty was questioned by an FSM Senate resolution in December calling for an end to the Compact of Free Association. But Walter dismisses it as unrealistic and argues that it won't win required U.S. federal approval or the consent of a majority of the FSM governments. And with all due respect, if I say this, it is an unfortunate, misleading, information because from my experience I really don't think that it's possible. Walter says rather than an end to the compact he and others who have worked on the agreement over the last 30 years want to redefine the terms to provide greater FSM self-reliance even though he believes the ties with Washington will continue into the foreseeable future. The question is can it ever be terminated? My first statement, it would never be terminated. And my concluding statement, it would never be terminated. For Guam's News Network, I'm Nestor Leconto. Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network.